Hey guys, welcome to the session on Automation Anywhere. In the today's session, we will learn how we can get all the cell data from the Excel sheet. So if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon to get the updates on the latest videos. So this session will be the continuation of the sessions where we have learned how to extract single cell data from the Excel sheet and how to extract multiple cell data from the Excel sheet. So I would suggest you to watch those videos if you have not watched yet because uh, what I will do in this session is that I will take the task which we had created in our previous session that is to extract multiple cell data and I will do a slight modification. A slight modification is required so that all the cell data will be extracted. So please watch those videos and assuming that you have already watched those videos let's get started. So this was my task which we have created. I will modify the task in some time. So this is my Excel sheet. This is the sheet which from where the data needs, need to be extracted. We will extract the entire data which all are available over here. And this is my text file where we had written the steps steps to extract single cell data from Excel, steps to extract multiple cell data from Excel and now we will see how to extract all the cell data from the Excel. From all the cell data I mean whatever cells are filled with the data all will be extracted and in the multiple you were giving the condition what multiple cell data you wanted. Right. So let's create the steps again. I will write over here steps to extract all cell data and what could be the steps let's see open the spreadsheet will be the first command so that's okay and in the second step we will see extract multiple data then I will write here extract all data okay and once once the data will be extracted when the task will run those data will be stored again inside the memory which can be fetched from the system variable this I have already explained in the previous session and once it is extracted and now we want to do something with the data that is we will display the data inside the message box for that we will create for that we will create a loop to fetch that data and how to create the loop for each row in Excel data set that means for each row in Excel data set do something that is display the message okay and once it is done then the final command will be to, to close the spreadsheet right so we have done only a slight change here we will extract all we will give the command to extract all data so let's see how we can do this in the automation anywhere client so this is my task which we had created in our previous session so the first command is to open the spreadsheet so this is my spreadsheet this is the sheet name and this is the session session name and now coming to the next command which is I will double click on that and there we were selecting this get, this get multiple cells and we were giving the condition that is from A2 to C5 we want the data okay so that is this is A2 to C5 we want this data we could have given a2 to c3 then it this one will be selected so according to the cells which you have provided in the from specific cell box to two specific cell box according to this condition which you have provided your data the multiple data will be extracted but now what we want we want to get all cells so I will click on the get all cells so that condition got vanished because that won't be depending on the condition here we will be extracting the entire data all the data will be extracted so condition is gone only session name need to be required to be put and why session name this I have mentioned in the session how to extract single cell data it is required because you can have a mapping with the with this session name you can have a mapping with the excel sheet name so for detailed explanation please refer to that video so yes i have put the session name and what's written over there when this command will be executed by the task that means when i will do the execution 
of this task what will happen the result will be fetched in the memory and it can be accessed using the system variable so that's already i have mentioned when all the data will be extracted those data will be stored inside memory and which can be fetched from the system variable so what will be the system variable excel column okay excel column and in the brackets that is the index of the column we need to provide so i will write it over here also system variable variable is defined as the dollar symbol starting with i will give the com variable name as excel column and i will give the index and i will give the dollar sign again this is the symbol for the variable so all good as of now so i have given the command i have changed the command over here and now i will save it so once you have given the command you will start the loop the start loop says that each row in an excel data set of session that is this is referring to this spreadsheet with the session name right so the loop is we have given we don't need to change anything over here so this loop started and once the loop started for each row that means for each row what you need to do display the message box this is the message box which will be displayed so let me write it down over here what is the message what we have in the message box first we have excel column 1 excel column 2 and excel column 3 excel column is a system variable and one one what is this one this is the excel column index that is this will be 1 this will be 2 and this will be 3 so let's see what in what format we will get the message we will get the message in the format let me show you so first will be it will be better to do the comparison like this so the first is excel column 1 that is 2 and the second is excel column 2 that is it will be mumbai and between that we will have a colon so we have a colon over here and i will put a colon again and this will be the excel column 3 right so for all rows we will get a similar pattern of all the rows so the first one will be 2 colon mumbai colon maharashtra 1 colon kolkata colon west bengal we will get the message displayed like this in this format and once we will have the message with us once it is once we get the message for all the rows since we have chosen to take all the data to get extract all the data from the excel sheet so once it will be over what we need to do we need to close the excel sheet so let's save it and we will close the excel sheet once the loop is over so what i did i did a very minor change in my task i clicked on get all cells right so nothing else you need to do with the script of if you have uh, created the task of get multiple cells and you can create the task for the uh, to get all the cells just by changing a single command that is you will select this get all cells instead of get multiple cells right so let's save it and i will close this excel sheet so that the command will open the excel sheet by itself so let's start the task so my task is started it will open the excel sheet and yeah right we got the first row as this because we have given the format like this okay and the second row and the third row fourth row and the fifth row and the spreadsheet got closed so in this way you can extract all the cell data from your excel sheet and that's all for this session and if you have any queries please put it in the comment section below and i will try to solve your queries for sure and hope you like the video thank you have a nice day bye bye